Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news for the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, baby, it's Joshua versus Ruiz week. Or Andy Ruiz Jr. versus Anthony Joshua week. Ruiz is the champion now. Right? We're going to give Joshua his respect, so we're going to give him a week. We're moving up to that fight, and it, it's you know going to be a big one. We know it. The whole December 7th is going to be awesome. There's a lot of fights on December 7th in different parts of the world. A lot of significant things. The undercard for the Joshua Ruiz fight is already up. I'm hyped about the Michael Hunter versus Alexander Pavetka fight. That's going to be a nice one, too. Look at, uh, you know, your boy Junior, Chris Eubank Jr. versus uh, Matt Corball. Good fights. You know what I'm saying? We'll be watching boxing all damn day and night, right? But let's talk about Andy Joshua, Andy Woods Jr. Some significant information that came out, you know, WBM. A lot of people, you know, care about what the World Boxing News got to say, whatever. You know, me sometimes, who knows. But anyway, they didn't got word that uh, Joshua's having trouble in sparring again, right? We know before the first fight, Joey DeVecco had him down. That was, you know, basically the word, right? And we don't, you never really know if things are true, but that's the word. Now, you know, I think they wouldn't have put it out there if they didn't have uh, substantial uh, evidence or at least they believed, you know, their sources. So, you know, it seems to be having trouble. Now, um, that could be the case, right? But it can also not be the case. If you were an Anthony Joshua fan right now and you hear stuff like that, you know, you got two things you can take solace in. You can be like, hold up, you know, first of all, that could not be true, right? It doesn't have to be true. It could just be some things out there they want to be put out there. So Andy Ruiz Jr. Uh, can think that, right? That, that could be. And then another thing, that's why sparring stays in sparring. All the boxers talk about it all the time. They don't like to talk about sparring because there's circumstances. You know, like Anthony Joshua could have done eight rounds, hard rounds, and a fresh dude comes in, right, fresh to and, and clips it. You know, Joshua tired and, you know, chinny. And it gets put down or, or you stumble or whatever. Boom. Somebody let it get out. Nowadays, it's out easy. So many sources that you can get out. One person just got to go Instagram somewhere and it's on. Right? So those are things. You know, when stuff gets out like that, hmm, whatever. Right? So you can believe it or not believe it. Right? But let's talk about what his promoter, Eddie Hearn, is saying. Now, I, I agree with this. He said, Josh was back. It's against the wall. Right? It's against the wall. And we all kind of believe that right now. We don't. Really, do you really want to see Joshua lose twice <laughs> to the same dude? Then a lot of things is over, you know, over. You know what I'm saying? In terms of you the top, or people can even argue that you're the top. You would officially have chin issues and, you know, whatever. Unless Andy Ruiz Jr. went on to be undefeated for another six, seven years, you in trouble at that point. You know what I mean? So, uh, and, but um, he also says... Um, Anthony Joshua has to hurt Andy Ruiz Jr. And that I agree with him. Because listening to Evander Holyfield and everybody else that fought Andy Ruiz Jr., if even if Joshua's moving, he's going to be able to cut off the ring, right? And let them hands go. So uh, you're going to have to basically hurt him. Because even Andy Ruiz Jr. himself says, everybody got a plan until they get hit in the mouth. He likes to quote Michael, Mike Tyson with that. That's Tyson's thing. Everybody had a plan until I hit him in the mouth, right? And so. You're going to have to hit Ruiz in the mouth pretty good and constantly because one time doesn't really do it. That does it. We saw that. Hit, he hit him with a peach left hook and then to hit him with the right hand after he got up from that left hook, Andy Ruiz Jr. thinks he could take Joshua's punches, which is dangerous, but at least it's going to let him get in there to let his hands go. So it's very interesting. I agree with uh, Eddie Hearn here. Hey, he's going to have to hurt him, right? So, you know, with the with the sparring rumors, you know, you had positive rumors. You had other rumors saying that Joshua was taking people out, sending people home quick. I've heard that just as much. So we don't really know what's going on. And we ain't going to just clam on to, oh, Joshua got dropped. If we can't clam on to, oh, Joshua then took out several sparring partners. It's sparring. Not really extremely significant. But like in the first fight, when we were hearing that it was recently, uh, right before the fight where he was still concussed. Now, that can be an issue. But just having hard sparring, ask all of the boxers. That's all the time. Most, you know, they, they get down up in there, right? They get down up in there. So it is what it is. That's not too much big news. But bottom line is, uh, 
you know, it seems to be going down in sparring. But I don't know if that's bad news or good news. But I know it's damn news. Dumb Sports Talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.